is David with entry number 668-67. It is cold. <laughs> Very cold. Um, yesterday the high was at 9 o'clock in the morning at 33 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. So for the entire day it was in the 20s. It was crazy and it snowed and um, yeah kind of uh, in the thick of it as they say in the, uh, in the UK over there. It's uh, very cold and the hand I'm holding the phone with at the moment is also freezing. Um, yeah it's very cold. I remember the coldest I've ever recorded was back in my old city and the camera actually stopped working because it was so cold. Um, it's obviously not that cold at the moment, but, you know, I suspect that um, given another uh, month or so, we could definitely see temperatures in well into the low 20s and high teens. I just saw a woman steal a garbage bag from a municipal trash can which is very frowned upon, very frowned upon, and she did it with zeal, uh, maybe not zeal, but she did it extremely brazenly. They usually tuck a couple, you know, just in the can, on the side of the can, just so the next person who has to change the bag out, you know, can do it, and keep the bags going. And this, this lady just totally stole a bag <laughs> from the can. Um, I should say that, but, um, you know, I was thinking this morning as I sat in my uh, 25 degree room, looking at my breath, that um, I spent basically the entire summer kind of pining about winter, and wishing it was winter, and um, now I have winter, you know, clearly, and I, I gotta say, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good, but it's, you know, it kind of sucks too. I kind of, you know, that's how memory memory works. And you can even hear it in my speech is kind of messed up because I can't move my face properly. Um, and my nose is running a little bit. That, you know, when we have the good times, and when we have the bad times, we kind of uh, use nostalgia to kind of corrupt and manipulate our memories of good times. So that they so that they have almost no kind of bad points, and I always thought that was kind of an interesting thing. Is that how quickly or how easily humans we humans kind of forget the fact that that um, you know, we aren't infallible, and that most of most of our lives are <laughs> are uh, you know not as we perceive them. But uh, yeah, everything's good. It's, it's very cold, but you know, I do, I do have to say that I do dig the weather. It's um, it's chilly, it's cold, but it like has a crispness to it that I respect and enjoy. Um, it's not like nothing like summer where it's like dewy, like hot and miserable all the time. So at least that has something. There's that going for it. It was, you know, the snow. It's still warm enough so that the snow doesn't stick to the ground just kind of like hits it and then melts in three seconds and then like the asphalt or the cement just kind of like absorbs it so it's not that big of a deal yet it's not icy but soon soon we will see the turning of the tide and uh you know that's never you know awesome it's getting, getting, getting frozen literally frozen but um you know everything's good but i just have to I kind of grin and laugh when I think about, um, when I think about that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. The, um, today in the U.S. is Thursday, and so it means it's Friday here. And, uh, every third or fourth Thursday of, um, November is Thanksgiving in the U.S. It's kind of like one of our, I think it is the only holiday that is tied to a day and not a date. So, um, yeah. I'll talk about more on the weekend on Sunday about this, about what I'm thankful for, but um, 
I do want to point out, or just an observation that I had, is that there are these people every year, especially, you know, on the internet, that have to post something about the Native Americans and their treatment, or mistreatment, I suppose, um, without, um, we essentially kind of like stole, right, the, US, the, US, the land from them. And you know, to if we're being intellectually honest, that's true. But I think what, what, um, what my point that I want to make is that, you know, you have 364 days, other days of the year to kind of be a jackass or whatever. And you can kind of, I think you can even kind of like swallow your anger or whatever you want to call it for one day and just kind of accept that you know live in the moment you know live in the now for just that one day and just allow yourself to be to be happy and not and not freaking angry about something that's trivial i mean you know it's not a trivial matter right but something is kind of um it's, it's one day you know like you can give yourself one day to kind of not be angry kind of just enjoy your uh, family or at least something that you like you don't always have to be kind of like this, this kind of person you know it's really you know like I talked about before it's really a choice and um, I apologize for the wind noise I can't I hope I can cover the mic hole with my finger but the way I'm having to hold the camera I can't do it so unfortunately if you couldn't just hear what I said you know you can just, you know, chill out. You don't have to be so angry all the time. Yeah. Even if you're not angry all the time, I think it really teach it really shows me that it isn't like the, the ability of our ability to kind of think, you know, like outside you know, the kind of standards that you kind of box yourself into. You know, that's really something that I think people more people should cherish. But anyway, it's pretty cold. I can't move my hand. Talk with you soon. Bye.